All right, so I've just rocked up here, found a good little spot here. To be honest, I've been here before and it's a pretty amazing little spot. I want to give you a full run through of what I do and how I live on the road and stuff like that in this vid. First thing I'm going to do though, because the weather is pretty mint, so I'm going to go across the road here and I'm going to fish off this beach. I'm going to throw some surface this afternoon. Um, tide is high coming in, so it's, it's perfect for land-based stuff. So let's get some gear sorted and let's do that first. And then in the morning we'll do it again and then we'll do a run through of the rig. So, let's do it. All right, let's go for a little fish down here. It looks amazing out here. For now, I just wanna grab a rod. See here we go. Bit of top water action, because it's pretty smooth down there, the water. Could probably go a popper, but I do like these top waters, eh? Full snake territory though, fuck. Oh, how good is it is, man? I'm gonna leave my thongs there, eh? Go down, have a squeeze here. Squeezy Taylor. Plastic. First thing I see is a piece of plastic. Get that on the way home. That thing. Yeah, look at this. Oh, what was that just there? There's bait just here. Just there, look at all the bait just there. Let's give it a pass out there. Croc territory, that's what the the locals tell me that there is crocs that come up and down here. So, I won't be getting in the water at all, even though it is very beachy. Alright, which way do we go, left or right? Left? Right looks a little bit more, oh there's a fish right up in the shallows there, hey. What are they? They're right up in there. I think they're big mullet, hey. I think those ones are big mullet. But I think this way, there's less wave action up here. It might be more flat, more like a flat. We've got this way. There's heaps of mullet just swimming in there, hey. Surely got to be a queenie around, or a trevally or something. Not yet, no. Hope soon, maybe. Yeah. Oh, the girls are giving me good luck here. How good is that? What is it? Little queenie or something? Little queen fish. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. What is it? I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what that is. Can't oh, see it. Queen fish for sure, hey. Or oh, tarpon. It hasn't jumped. I don't know if it's a tarpon or not. It's got fins. Got fins, yeah. All fish have fins, idiot. Yeah, definitely a tarp on eh? Yes, little tarpy. Little tarpy. Surprised he hasn't spat it. Must have him pretty good. Big mully here too. How good is this? Little tarp on. Come on, up you come. Come on, tarpy. Oh, little. That's good, hey. <laughs> yes, tarpy. How good is that? Got him good too. Woo. Good luck, you gave me good luck. Oh, okay. Off you go then. He's not ready to go. There he is. Little tarpy, look at him. Oh, I got you in the corner of the jaw pretty good, eh? Okay, you can go. <laughs> this tarp on for you. I'm pretty sure he turned over. And half kicked. He half kicked. He wasn't real healthy though, but that is tarpon for you. But yeah, pretty pretty cool. I didn't even have him out of the water that long. And he went sort of a bit, a bit silly on me. But hey, what can you do? What can you do, eh? Hey? 
Good man, what's happening? That's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening? Yeah, yeah, I'll be good to meet you, mate. Yeah, Jeff Jenkins, Jeff, how you doing? Good right? to meet you, mate. Yeah. Your girl's giving me good luck before. Yeah, yeah. You come down and said, You got anything? And I was like, Nah, yeah, and then. Oh, it's a whiting. Ah, uh, tarpon. Oh, it's a tarpon? Yeah, oh, tarpon, right. yeah. They're just they're swimming out in the front. You can see the, those little disturbances over there. Yeah, yeah. Little tarpon spinning, like yeah. over here and over there. Not bad just to head out there and catch a fish and have a chat and meet some people. It's just, it's the most amazing thing in the world. So anyway, now I'm just gonna um, potter around here. I'm gonna put the tent up and um, that's gonna be it for today, pretty much until tomorrow. And then I'll give you, I'll go for a fish, give a full rundown. I kind of have to get the tent up pretty early because you need um, to escape from the bugs, man. Everywhere you go, there's midges, mosquitoes, sand flies, march flies, and ants, man. Wherever you go, the ants seem to find you. Rock up and you go, eh, can't see any ants. Sit down for five minutes and try and eat something, ants everywhere. So, yeah, that's the next thing. I'm just going to sort out a few things here, but in the morning, we'll go for a fish, and then we'll give you a full rundown on, on everything here. So, yeah, hold tight. Leave my thumbs here. Probably won't need those, I'll just leave those there. No one will steal them, surely. Big prey. Oh, blow ups. Oh, get it? Yes, got it. What is it? Oh, it shakes. Oh, I don't know. It's shaking its head. It hasn't jumped, so it's... Oh, it's like full head shake. I can feel it just like... Brr, brr. Might be a tarp on. Might be another tarpy. It's like fully... I thought it would have jumped, but... I can feel it like shaking its head. I'm just going to loosen up on it. Oh, feels all right though. Tarp on sure, I reckon. There he is. He's gonna get off in a minute. He hasn't jumped yet. Oh, oh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. How good. This is what we're working with this morning. Just, someone's gotta do it, eh? Big, big, big. <laughs> he came in. He hasn't jumped though. I still can't quite see what it is. Oh, oh, it's very decent. Just wonder how I'm going to get it up. <laughs> Doesn't like it. Oh, he's just like decided. No, no, no. I'm not playing that game with you, mate. <laughs> it's very decent, and he's just gone. No, no, no. What am I coming into shore for? <laughs> I'm going back out here. Just bringing. Oh no. What is it? Is it a golden? It's got golden fins. Can't quite see it, but with a cuda. Better not be a barracuda. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, is it a barracuda? Yeah, it is a barracuda. It's a big barracuda. <laughs> Look at the fucking thing, would ya? <gasps> Look at the thing! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of it! <laughs> Look at the size of this thing! The stinky barracuda! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Did I just catch that off the beach? Oh. Disappointing, but cool at the same time. Look at the size of that thing! Yeah, I just have to try and unhook him without getting slayed. Oh! He's off. He's off. How good. Go. Look at that. Look at that tail. Alright oh, mate, ready? Get you back in. Big dirty cooter. He's not been out of the water that long. So he should be alright. Go. Oh, big sooks. Oh, he's not having a sook, is he? Yeah, 100% he's having a sook. This is what I hate about land base. Sometimes you gotta put your stuff on the sand, but we're pretty clean there. There you go, eh? Big barracuda. I got excited because I saw it's like it's golden fin there. 
I was like, oh, it's a good goldie, but it wasn't meant to be. Very shallow down here. All right, so we're back at the unit. Give you a bit of a rundown. It, it wasn't an amazing session. I thought we were on to really good fish there this morning, but you know, something's better than nothing. It's good to just go across to the beach early morning, have a flick, afternoon, have a flick on that high tide. Pretty special. But anyways, gonna run you through the rig now. Um, after I got back, actually, the um, council dude came down and he was like, um, oh, are you, are you camping? And he's like, oh, I'm such and such from from uh, blah 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 and I'm like yeah and he's like oh, I'm just looking for um, people with dogs off leashes and uh, people camping and I was like yeah man haven't seen many dogs off leash so <laughs> and off he went so um, anyways because I like to keep my tent up that's the, that's the one undoing when you're on the road you can't leave your tent up and it rained last night so I wanted to leave it up just a little bit longer to let it air out so I generally just leave it like this to let all that moisture come out rather than closing it up and and um, letting it get musky so that's kind of been my undoing that's why you come over and had a look so yeah it's it's a bit annoying but I'll keep it like that for a bit even if I pop it out the boat ramp or something like that just to let the moisture out um, it's all good as for the rig itself a um, 2015 I bought this brand new 2015 Holden Colorado so um, single cab two by four didn't need four wheel drive at the time this is where I do most of my editing in here I'll sit on that seat plug it into the cigarette lighter I'll do editing at night and whatever it's super uncomfortable but get the job done that's all that matters so nothing too outrageous there guitar lives there a few things live in the front seat there so that's that's just um, that's the office so to speak now just behind the office here we've got all the storage so this will be like um, tackle uh, heaps and heaps of tackle in that um, clothes pantry stuff and like camera gear and electronics and stuff and then down here will be tools I've got my little thingamajig there I've got little hidey holes here spare pair of thongs in there um, things for the tent just there the reason that I went with these is I wanted drawers and like a whole drawer system but it's too expensive too heavy and these were 20 bucks each so I was like there's a hundred bucks I can store everything in I need and just go so that's the main reason behind that if you just want to get up and go yes yeah, sweet um, also I didn't have the money to spend like a couple grand on like shit and just fit this out like crazy I just wanted to get going get moving so um, this is super versatile too I can take them in and out in in and out switch them around do whatever so I can put them on the other side if I want to if I need to so yeah um, and if I need to fit something big in here I can just take all these out do something put them back in so it's kind of versatile for me and then right next to that's my little charging station here and my little um, panel here so I'll just I'll just put um, stuff that needs charging here phone cameras whatever and my batteries are sitting in there too so they'll pretty much sit on 13 plus volts non-stop and have been pretty much the whole trip a uh, little fan there that um, goes on charge it'll last about seven hours in the 10 on low so that's cool if not run a cord up and you can run it overnight so no problems at all no virtually no draw on the batteries so and up the top here too you'll see my rod storage above the uh, other storage where i'll keep uh six to seven rods i've got with me at the moment which i might run you through at, on another stage but i've kind of narrowed it down to what i need there's still one rod in there that i don't barely use so right on the other side here we've got the kitchen area so we've got fridge 80 liter fridge um Austral, big shout out to Austral. this one is my second one the first one died and they were a total pain in the ass to deal with so um big shout out to Austral. thanks for your help next thing is i got my little um ziggy barbecue which was actually cheaper than a weber and i think it's better than a weber because of the uh it just locks it locks it's got the full hot plate rather than hot plate grill and um, i like the ring set up better with it and yeah just just did what i needed it to do so over the back there i've got a little garbage bin nothing nothing amazing um lounge chair ladders at the back there carry uh what's that 20 or 25 liters of water there so 
you can find the odd tap around and I'll, I'll fill that up. I just run the little Barbie off a little four and a half kilo gas bottle just there. And I've got my spice rack up on top of it there with my salt and pepper. <laughs> and my oil's behind there. So it sort of does about three jobs, the old, uh, the gas bottle. So the canopy itself was just something I bought off the floor um, from some dudes down in Brisbane. It's got a couple of problems. Uh, the welds have started to crack. Um, yeah, the, the locks are really, really sticky um, and have been for a long time. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good for three grand. Uh, and it fits perfectly, so we can't complain too much. But the, the major sticking point for me is when the welds started to crack. So, and not even on the back here where I've got all the weight, the welds are cracked all on all four corners. They're starting to crack. So, luckily, I know a good alley welder that hopefully can um, help me fix those. But other than that, it's been pretty good for three grand. Now, this is this is my boat slash. Uh, clothesline <laughs> so my towels got wet well they were wet and I was hanging them out to dry and then it rained so um, and then I've got a shirt over there as well so it kind of doubles as two things it doubles as a boat and a washing line so all right so with the battery things I know a lot of people are gonna ask so canopy's got roof racks and then on those roof racks is the rooftop tent and then on top of the rooftop tent it has its own roof racks so we got roof racks on roof racks and then right on the very top a 300 watt solar panel so so that's kind of um the thing that's powering everything at the moment my cameras um computers uh all that sort of stuff phone um it's been running the fridge for since forever so it's done really well for me um and then as for the rest of the setup in there you know i'm not super i'm not super nerdy with it all but you just go solar panel mppt and then out of that into two batteries, which are lithium 120 amp hours, uh, which I got for around about 600 a piece. Um, and then obviously just put a fuse box on that or wire, you know, anything you want into the fuse box. So the fridge is hardwired in, uh, or it's Anderson plugged in. Um, and then it just runs cigarette lighters and that's it. And I just plug and unplug everything. All right, well, that's pretty much it other than um, my backyard and the view, but they both sort of change on a daily basis. So, <laughs> um, yeah, the, so the plan is basically have no plan now. There's no plan, just out on the road, doing whatever, whenever. Um, so until that changes, you know, obviously you guys will be the first to know, I guess. Or probably not the first to know, but, you know, just trying to be nice. Um, so, yeah, I'll, um, I'll let you know when I know.